There's a big difference between tourist and traveller. After three years in 55 countries, we'd consider ourselves the latter. Wow. And with this being our first introduction to the United States of America, and there being so much to see, we finally settled on a sightseeing trip in some major cities in the Northeast, fully ready to embrace the tourist side of traveling. That's great, <laughs> Filled with excitement, we arrived at our first destination. What better place to begin our journey than the capital city, Washington, D.C. It's surprisingly small. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would be bigger. We're just doing a bit of a sightseeing tour in D.C. today, and as you can see, our first stop here is the White House. I can confirm it is white. You see, the most famous landmarks in DC are all located in the center. I just spoke to the guy and you can go up for free. Do you want to go up? Whoa. And from a height of 169 meters, not only can you see them all, but you can see the entire city. If I ask you, don't hold back on me. Only better if you say. It's quite strange being here because you're so used to seeing the monuments and the buildings in TV shows and in films that it feels like you almost know your way around. There's a feeling of calmness and peace in the National Mall and we spent some time seeing the different war memorials all through the park before reaching a memorial we recognised from many films. How big it is. It's definitely the most impressive one you want to do something I've ever seen. I saw speech. Four score and seven years ago. <laughs> New nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. I don't know about you, but I just feel like I'm touring like a movie set right now. Same, everywhere we go, I'm like, oh, that's in this film, that's in this film, that's in this film. It's cool because you can see the reflection in the water. It's not like tranquil, I feel. just films and that that I recognise from around you but it's just all the history that you learn in like school and stuff as well it's all just all come back to me This building is bigger, like way bigger, than the White House itself. After a full day of sightseeing, we realised that this was the perfect place to start, and our excitement grew for the next city. Okay, so we've made it to our second stop. We are in Philadelphia, and for some reason, we've only managed to actually plan to be here for one day, or even half a day. So we're gonna try and fit in as much things we can do. I see the famous Lundy Bell.
I thought it was going to be way bigger than what it actually was. It's just some little dinky bell. And there's like a big crack in it, which is like the famous crack, isn't it? Yeah. But you can see that they've tried to fix it. And they've almost like tried to weld it back together, but they obviously fixed it. they have a Welsh flag? Normally they just have a Great Britain one. Yes, go on Philadelphia. Okay, we've made it to the rocky steps and I feel like this is something that everyone does when they come here. Picked up some famous donuts in the red in market. They're pretty good. Are they? They were hyped up enough. Yeah, they're probably better than Christmas. <gasps> Sorry, what did you just say? Uh, <gasps> Now is the oldest continuously inhabited street in the entire USA and I bet people here are really annoyed that people come and take pictures and videos and it's like a tourist spot. I literally feel like I've stepped back in time. This street has got to be the cutest street I've ever seen. Okay Philadelphia was pretty cool but this next stop has been on our bucket list since like forever. We just realised that it's a Sunday morning and New York's quite quiet on a Sunday morning. For New York. We first headed to the 9-11 museum. With hardly no one around, there's an eerie feeling in the air. This place is a combination of interesting, sad and horrifying. And after taking a few clips, it kind of felt weird filming. No one tells you how cold New York is. I guess it is the end of February, but... It's cold. It's so cold. Just got on the Staten Island Ferry, which should give us a good view of the stop to live to. I can't 
believe how close we got, considering this is free. We were gonna pay quite a bit of money to go up close. So it's As our New York City sightseeing adventure unfolds and we begin checking off famous landmarks from our list, it's impossible not to feel like we've stepped onto the set of a blockbuster film. Next up we come to Brooklyn Bridge, but so is everyone else in the entire city. Maybe we should have come a bit earlier. Bridges. Yeah, finally looking out the apart the outside of the apartment with the friends. I'm so glad. I love being a tourist in New York. It's the best. That's pretty cool. Oh. That is so surreal. <laughs> My God. When I started editing this video, I intended to make a travel vlog. A story about our first time in the USA. I mean, it is pretty cool seeing all these billboards. It's so cool. Hello, so I can't wait until it gets dark to see it when it's dark and they're all even more lit up than they are now. This is a trip that we spoke about way before we started traveling. And New York specifically has been on both our bucket lists for as long as we can remember. You see, this isn't just another travel vlog. This is a video about Ash and Kels living out a dream. It's good light in. Is it? How are lights up? I mean, there's enough lights where I was I feel like this square here with this fountain has been in so many films. We're basically just doing a big film tour of America. There's just so many film spots. Even if you just came sightseeing, you would technically be doing a film tour because there's so many spots. The park is beautiful. The fact that it's in the middle of a city. With only one day left in New York and having ticked off many of the major landmarks, we stepped our tourist game up a gear and checked out some of the most touristy shops on the planet. Suddenly, the world I used to know, I see it differently. You woke me from a dream, now here's reality. Baby, baby, you are really hurting me. Cause every time been doing the most touristy things in shops all afternoon but it is now time for us to go up the Empire State Building so that's where we're heading I didn't realise it was like a full on museum so cool. We're not even at the top yet. 
This is insane. It's crazy how many skyscrapers there are. That's nuts. That's insane. Like 10 to fair than I thought. This side's probably the best side because you can really see that it's an island. I don't think a lot of people know that either, really. And you can see the high scripts in the back. We've come inside to skip the cold. We're going to head out a little bit. And hopefully the sun will be setting. From the top of the Empire State Building, the chaos of the city below seems to fade, replaced by a sense of peace and tranquility. You realise how small you are in comparison to the world below, and to witness the sunset at the top of the New York skyline is an experience we'll remember for the rest of our lives. As the city lights begin to illuminate the skyline, each one representing a different story of hopes and dreams, it makes us feel grateful to be living out one of ours.